Wandering Night, a low vision view of the world. Hooker Valley, Hike, and Pukaki Lake. We would leave Twizel to go to our hike today in the Hooker Valley. But to get there, you have to pass by Lake Pukaki, which, as you can see, changes its color depending on when you go by. Remarkable. Mount Cook, also known as Aoraki, which in Maori means pierce the clouds, would appear and disappear in the distance. But this hike into Hooker Valley would feature a lot more, including mountain prairies of lupine, the Hooker River, Mueller Lake, Hooker Lake, and other wonderful sights. Today is our final walk. We are heading in the general direction of Mount Cook. We're actually going to be walking towards the, into the Hooker Valley, I believe, and the Hooker Glacier. Obscured a little bit by trees right now, but there's Mount Cook trying to pierce the clouds on this rather cool mid-morning, totally overcast. If the temperature is 50 degrees, I'd be very surprised. I think it's probably actually cooler than that. And I've got to catch up to our speeding ahead group. We don't stop for nothing. These are great suspension bridges. There are three of them on this four and a quarter mile long trail. All crossing, maybe it's just one river here. It's a very nice, easy trail, mostly gravel. But every now and again, besides the three remarkable bridges I've already mentioned, you get stretches of boardwalk. So this ground must get fairly sodden, sort of tussocky ground here on either side of us. And of course the raging river off to my left. The raging gray river. Maybe the colors will change. We've gotten a hint of, well, it's gone away again. We had a hint of sunlight. It'd be nice to see if the sun comes out, if the colors of the water change some. I think they ought to. There's a bit of a breeze blowing here. I stand on this outdoor deck at the Hermitage Hotel. We have a sun shower happening. It's socked in here at the uh, base of the Hooker Valley area. If it wasn't socked in and drizzling, you could see Mount Cook, Mount Aoraki, at least how you say it, which is the Maori name for the mountain which was pierced the clouds. And while it's raining now, later in the day, it was overcast but still pleasant. And we had a very nice three and a half hour or so hike, eight and a half miles round trip. Very gentle, easy trail, well worth doing.